You want to find more sticks? This is Grayson's new favorite game where you look all over the yard and get sticks. Here, get this one. Oh, that or you can do that one. What does that look like? Mm -hmm. And we have to figure out what it looks like. Mm -hmm. That looks like a V. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like a V or a Y. Are yeah. oh, you gonna put it in the mailbox? Usually he puts it in our stick pile over by our mulch area. But this time he wants to put it in his mailbox. I have a porter with me. Say hi, Popoy. We're out here enjoying the sun. It's actually really cold. It's only like 40 something degrees, but with the sun, it feels really good. And there's like no clouds in the sky. So it's actually not too bad, but it is supposed to get warmer as the week goes on, but it's pretty cold today. But Porter did something very exciting this morning. I will input a Snapchat video of that here. Come on, come get them. <laughs> Come on! Yay! <laughs> Yay, Porter! Good job! Yes, he is crawling now. I mean, it's like very like unsteady but he is crawling he can get from one place to another. I'll have to see if I can get it like on my camera while Grayson's napping, I'll try to get him to do it again. Um, but watch out because we now have a crawler. He's gonna get in everything. He's gonna, he already tries to get everything that Grayson has. If Grayson's reading something, he crawls over and tries to get the book from Grayson. If Grayson's playing with a toy, he wants to play with a toy. So I see a lot of fights <laughs> in our future, but it's so exciting. Finally, he's, he'll be eight months on Friday and today's Tuesday. So he's like days away from being eight months old. Gray was crawling by six months, so a little delay, but um, at least he's crawling now. And so now life gets a lot more hectic and I can't put him down now without watching him. Are you so excited that you're crawling? Yeah. Now if we can only get him to sleep through the night, then I would be very happy because he's still not doing that. He was up like three or four times last night. Terrible, terrible. What are you doing, Gray? Yeah, that's the swing. Are you going to look for more sticks? I think he's moved on from stick hunting. Hi, Bubba. <laughs> I have a message for you. I have a message for you. What is it with boys and sticks? Both of them are chewing on sticks. What are you doing? He's mowing the lawn. <laughs> I think he needs some pointers from Anthony. <laughs> He's so dang cute. And I've got Porter in the swing now. He loves the swing. I just wish it wasn't in the shade because it's a little chilly today. I don't know why we have two fences on either side of our yard, one here and then one here. He calls this a gate. And he calls this a fence, even though they're both fences. <laughs> but it keeps him happy. Hard worker right there. Good job. Oh. <laughs> I love how he runs everywhere. <laughs> All right, Porter, to show them your stuff. Show them your stuff, show them how you crawl. Come on, come see the ducky. He loves this rubber ducky. Come get it. Come on. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Good job, boy. Yep, I have a crawler. I'm in trouble. Good job. 
love. Now where are you gonna go? The world's your oyster. You gonna get the phone? <laughs> Hi. Oh, Mr. Drooly. You're so big. Show daddy tonight when he gets home from work. I'm gonna have to watch you like a hawk. Because <laughs> you can get into everything now. So we're outside again, Porter is singing again. Grayson found a hole to splash in. We got like two inches of rain the other day and we still have rain in our backyard. That is so silly. I wanted to show you guys this hole that I was talking about. These birds like knocked in a hole in our siding of our house and now there's a bird's nest in it and there's baby birds in it. And so as soon as these baby birds get out, I'm gonna patch it up so they can't get back in, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. So here's like the back of our house, obviously. And then right up in here, you can see it, huge holes that they made, huge. And so they fly in through these holes and the nest is like right in there somewhere. Not cool. So I can hear them. I can hear the babies chirping in there. So as soon as the babies get out, which I Googled, I think I said this already, but I Googled and it said babies take nine to 11 days and then they get kicked out. As soon as they're out, I'm patching that hole because obviously I don't want to patch it with them in it because then they'll die and that would be bad. And I think the mom and dad would attack me. And um, I don't want to try to like get the nest out and move it because again, I think the mom and dad will attack me. Ugh, so annoying. We need to just get out of this house. There's so many problems with it. I'm just so over it. <laughs> but yeah, that's our bird problem that we're having. And they're just so loud. They're right in the walls by the dining room. So anytime I'm in the dining room feeding the boys, all you hear is birds chirping and it's so loud. I'm so ready to patch that up. I hope they get out soon because I'm so tired of it. Hey guys, okay, Porter's in the high chair, which can mean only one thing. We're starting something new. So we're gonna try pears for the first time and see what he thinks of it. He liked peaches pretty well. I don't think they were his favorite, but he definitely ate like the whole container every time. So we'll see how pears are with right him. Here we go.
Seems like Puerto likes pears. I like how it's thicker than the peaches. The peaches were so runny, I hated trying to give them to them. The pears are way more thick, and so I like that. Also, I've been trying new things with Porter. Gray likes being in the camera. Um, and so I've been giving him veggie straws and puffs just to try something different. He loves veggie straws, loves them. So it's kind of fun now that he's crawling and um, just getting bigger that he can try different foods. So it's exciting and he loves feeding himself. So it's fun to see. But yes, pears are good.